What's going on ladies and gentlemen, and I apologize again, I haven't been uploading a lot recently. I was really ill before I went to the US, and usually I would stock up on some videos and get you guys uh, videos while I was out in the US, but because I was ill before I went, and I was even ill while I was there for the first few days, um, I wasn't able to get any videos for you guys, so I do apologize, but we're back, and we're here for some more FIFA goodness. Now, um, I'm here with a bit of a message for you guys, actually. Now, to anyone who, uh, you know, plays, uh, pays real close attention to the market, Market, anything like that then I'm sure you guys will be well aware of what's going on and uh, what is happening to the market right now but uh, if you're not so well aware then uh, I guess that's why I made this video is to kind of give you guys a heads up on what's going on with the market and what you should and shouldn't be doing so uh, pretty much right now the market is taking a huge huge inflation um, it is just going uh, prices are going through the roof right now so um, here we have Ibrahimovic uh, team of the year Ibrahimovic and he is now going for for somewhere over the 10 million marker. Di Maria here, who was once going for about 450k, is now selling for about 1.5 million. Royce as well um, is around the 1.6, 1.7 million uh, marker. Um, I actually just bought this closer. Closer is kind of been staying around the 2 million marker. Um, he's kind of the one exception, I suppose. Um, but yeah, if you have any team of the season players, I really would recommend that you think about their value right now and whether they're really worth it. Because if there's a time to sell it, it would probably be be really kind of soon because right now prices are just so so high and team of the season players are going for ridiculous amounts I sold a bunch of them earlier today and that's how I managed to afford this closer here I think I ended up paying what did I pay for him yeah 2.5 million which is kind of the lowest he's going for at the moment I don't know whether he's going to go up or down I, I I can only imagine that he's going to go up with um the market around him just being just stupid right now literally the prices are ridiculous so keep an eye out for that guys but uh, I've got Got some examples here that I want to show you guys. I've got some uh, uh, proof, I, I guess, um, some evidence um, that I want to run through with you guys um, to show you what is going on with the market. So let's take a look. So like I said to you guys about this team of the year, Ibrahimovic, um, look at that. Just, that is ridiculous. You might need to blow it up full screen, by the way, guys. Um, it might be hard to read the numbers or things like that, so uh, make sure you have this running in HD or, you know, blow it up um, into full screen if you need to. But uh, as you can see, he was going for around $4 million, um, only a month ago. Um, the, the graph is over the space of 30 days, so just keep that in mind. And look at how much he is going for now. He is going for over the $10 million marker which is absolutely ridiculous he's well over doubled his price and to me that is just that is just insane so like i was saying guys um this transfer boom right now this transfer boom yeah, this transfer market boom right now is no joke you can seriously make some really good profit on your team of the season players i bought so many for you know when there were so many of them on the market they were going for really cheap and honestly i've doubled i've made double the profit and uh, it has just been a really good day so let's take a look at another example and that example is your man Ronaldo. Now, the reason why I've got him in here and uh, not his uh, team of the year version or uh, team of the season version is because I wanted to show you it's not just happening with these uh, team of the seasons or team of the years. It's happening with a lot of the high-end players. Um, I'll talk a little bit about the lower-end players um, as, we get, as we get through this video. But as you can see, Ronaldo there, his price has skyrocketed as well. Um, I'm not entirely sure why they've done it like, you know, 1,000K, 1,500K, things like that on the side. That's a little bit weird. Um, it's actually 1 million, 1.5 million, 2 million, things like that. But yeah, his price has gone dramatically up. And you're really going to notice that with a lot of ex of the expensive players. You know, anyone that was worth around, you know, 200,000 and above, you will definitely notice a good solid uh, price increase. So like I said, if you did buy them, just take a look, um, see what you bought them for and see if you can make a profit. Because right now might be the time to sell them. Um, I imagine it's going to stay like this. These high prices will stay like this for a little while until we get close to... Um, to the end of FIFA 14 where people will be like actually I don't want these players anymore the new FIFA's coming out I'm gonna sell all my stuff blah 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 and you'll notice that players will again their price will drop a lot and uh yeah they won't be worth all that much so that's why I've kind of sold them now I'm gonna hold on I'm gonna wait for that price drop again and then I'll be able to buy some more players but uh yeah let's move on to another example 
Here we have storage, and the reason why I wanted to show you guys storage, because like I said, even the players that were going for around, you know, 200,000, they have seen a huge uh, pr price bump, price boom, whatever you want to call it. And as you can see, he was going for around 200k, and now he's going up for, you know, over 500k. I actually sold mine earlier today that I managed to buy for, I think I bought him for about 250k or something like that, and then I ended up going on and selling him for about 540k, which is just, it's just insane insane so seriously guys i want you to scroll through your club right now figure out do you want these players are they sitting there just rotting right now because they're, if there is a time to sell them it would be in the next few weeks so just keep that in mind when you guys are uh, you know uh, playing the game and things like that i'm just trying to help you guys out with uh, the current state of the market i'm not entirely sure why it's why it started going up like this i imagine it's because uh team of the season um all that sort of stuff is now over so these players aren't going to be in packs for much longer and suddenly people have had the real need to get their hands on these players and of course there are so many coins floating around the market these days that you know a million isn't something uncommon as uh, as bad as that might be um a million is not uncommon these days whereas back in fifa 12 fifa 13 if you had if you had a million coins you were living lavish so uh, let's move on to another uh team of the season player and that man is Diego Costa. Now, again, I've just kind of shown this to uh, a, a very similar case to what happened with Storage. He was going for around 200k. Next thing you know, his price has doubled. And uh, he's going for just over 400k, which is just absolutely insane, guys. But I do have one last guy I want to show you. And this is kind of for the uh, for the people who have, you know, just loads of players around this region. And that is Balotelli. And if you have any players that are worth from 0 to 10, maybe even up to about 30k. So from about 0 to to about 30k you're not going to notice much uh price um fluctuation they're not going to be changing and moving around too much um if you're kind of hoping that you know balotelli's price is suddenly shot up that is not the case um the sort of uh low costing players they're still low costing it just tends to affect it, the ones that are going for about 200k or more so i hope you guys have all enjoyed this video and i hope i have managed to get my message across to you guys i just really want you guys to think about whether it's worth selling now and uh, you guys obviously do your own um uh, trading, all that sort of good stuff, which is fantastic. And uh, if you guys have any tips from me, I'm always open to hear. But I thought I'd share this little piece of uh, knowledge to anyone who maybe hasn't hasn't been following the transfer market a lot recently. The the prices have just been ridiculous, and more importantly, guys. I want you to let me know down in the comments what is the most profit you've made on a player in FIFA 14 so far. For me, it's probably got to be I made about a million coins on one of the team of seasons I sold earlier. I actually have to go and check that. But uh, yeah, I remember making about a million off it just because I bought him when there were so many on the market and now there's just not so many on the market. So anyways, enough of my waffling and rambling. I want to hear what your guys, you guys have to say down in the comments below. Hope you all have a fantastic day and I'm going to sit here just roasting in my room. It's so hot. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.